Miss Calvin Castine, it's the 8th day of October 2002, and we're at Northeastern Clinton Central School, and we'll explain what we're going to do here. We're going to start off at the beginning of the modified girls soccer game, and hopefully we'll be alert enough to turn around and wander down behind us to the cross-country meet. We'll try to since we've already gotten the modified cross-country runners here at Northeastern, we'll bypass them today and go down and pick up the varsity cross-country meet, which is Plattsburgh and Peru, I believe, or Saranac. Plattsburgh and Saranac are here for the cross-country, so we'll try to do the varsity there. And hopefully when that is over, this game will be still going on, and we will come here and finish up the game. No way we're going to do a play-by-play, -play, but we will take a moment to read the rosters for you. For the Indians, Heather Allen is the goalie, Leah Butts is number seven, Corey Ann Daniels number six, Alyssa Filio is number eight, Justine Hastings number two, Kirsten Irwin number ten, I think we've seen her at the county fair before. Connie Mandeville, number nine. Michaela McGinn, number 21. Samantha Mitchell, 19. Lauren Moore, 41. Rebecca Osborne, 11. Ellen Remillard, 3. Katie Rendonaro is 18. And Jenna Ruff is number 13. 25 Cougars. Amanda Rabideau is number one, Sarah Katie Hardigan two, Amanda Goodfellow three, Megan Bashard is four, Marianne Duty five, Leanne Carson is six, Darby Turner seven, Nicole LeBlanc is eight, Shelby Sterling nine, Carissa Hicks ten, Kessa Perro is eleven, Sarah Winters twelve, Nicole Smith thirteen, Alex Forey fourteen, Caitlin Langer fifteen, Jenna Van Leuven is 16, Jordan Clark 17, L'Oreal Bombardier is number 18, but she's in the goal today. She's the goalie. Uh, Emily Aubertine is 19, Danielle Boris is 20, Rachel Everleth 21, Danielle Tierney 22, Emily O'Hara is 23, Brittany Bailey 24, and Trisha Lavalley is number 8. And those are Sarah Hanfield's players. We'll try to remember them because we sure as heck won't. Well, we'll recognize probably about half of them out there, but we're not going to do a play-by-play -play in half of them. And if we kept looking at our sheet, we wouldn't get any close-ups. So we'll settle for the better view and no play-by-play. -play. At least no personal play-by-play. -play. We'll mention that Peru is kicking the ball. Going on immediately behind me is the modified boys practice. And one of the things you notice at this practice is there are no nets here. So modified teams have to practice without a net. This is not as bad as being in the circus and doing a high wire act without a net, but it will be a little tough to uh, learn how to play the game when you don't have a net to shoot at during practice. Now when the modified girls games are on the road, and I'm sure they use this field, but when the modified girls have a home game, then they can't, and vice versa when the modified boys have a home game, the girls can't practice on this field. Maybe someday they'll There'll be an extra field up at the nearby Bob Van Park. Take back by the Indians. The Cougar coach, Sarah Hanfield, uh, 
My first memory of her is when she was a modified player for Shay-Z. Ooh, no call. to a away game on the Shazy bus. I have no idea where it was. On the ride back. Uh, poor Sarah got stuck sitting with the old guy. Yeah. <laughs> she was talking with her friend Robin Rovers in the seat behind us. And after a while she says, you're a nice guy and everything, but uh, I'd really like to go sit with my friend Robin. <laughs> So, I said, go right ahead. Here's an opportunity for the Cougars, and look at that. They've got a goal. And let's see. Looks like it was number 12, which would be Sarah Winters, and also in the vicinity was... Van Leuven, Jana Van Leuven. So maybe Van Leuven got the assist in Winters the goal, or maybe it was another scenario, but at any rate, it's one nothing Cougars. Modified plays uh, four quarters, unlike the JV and varsity playing halves. shot and L'Oreal Bombardier picks it up. There's the people at the scoring table. Hard at work. Keeping track of all them points. And saves and shots and corner kicks. White throw. White throw. Another cougar throw. Throw in for the Indians. Just put it back in play. It'll be a goal kick. Ball called. <laughs> Looks like they can substitute on a handball here and modified. <laughs> I 
when the rest remembered, hey, you can't sub. Took him a long time to <laughs> figure that one out. Ball's put back in play. There's the punt. Now we can substitute. And substitute we will. With 25 players. Only 11 can play at a time, so even if you substitute all the kickers, you, you're still only using 21, so you still got four more to sneak in there. subs now. White throw. Uh, blue throw, I guess. Or a rethrow. A rethrow, which is... Rhymes with Jethro, but has nothing to do with Jethro. Don't know why that came to mind, but it did. Looks like a throw from deep in the Peru end, the Cougar end. gonna go out. Looked like she was worrying about kicking it instead of running full tilt to get in front of the ball. She was trying to time it so she could catch it. As soon as she got there, should have ran as hard as she could, made sure she caught up with it, then worried about kicking it. White throw. Go go throw to the eighteen. Keeper will pick it up. There's the probably the leaders in the, in the modified race. Wouldn't surprise me if those are the leaders. And meanwhile, back at the Soccer game. Oh, 
Must be getting close to the end of the first period. In the first period, I'm going to come to a halt. <laughs> 